Okay. And that's a utility bill. Hmm. Here's some of the flood waters from our area. The church is underwater. The river is usually quite a ways back in behind that church. These houses were flooded here. Uh, usually dry ground up through here. Main thoroughfares are blocked um, at sections because the waters are so high. Um, we're just out trying to, our power's out. Um, so we're just, came out to get us a bite to eat, just kind of looking around at all this. Um, all this water will eventually flow down through to the river in front of our house, which we're away from it, no worries. Um, if our house floods from this, we've got bigger worries than all this. Um, so um, we're not close to the river, but it does run down maybe a quarter of a mile below our house. Um, so we're close, but not, not too close. There should be here in Surrey. Island. This is the across the four lane from the river, you all. I mean, we're going to have to go through this to kind of get back. It's not too deep yet. We're going to say a prayer and take off through it here in just a minute. Um, it's coming up through here because we have to turn around. There's all kinds of people going up this road and, and there's nowhere for us to, to go to get to. So, but this is, like I said, across the four lane from the, the actual water from the river. Um, it's just fed across the four lane. And it's getting deeper. These people need to hurry up and get across it in front of us so we can go without getting stuck in it. Stop where by out. We should have gone through. Yeah, I didn't know. Did you know? No, I didn't. Pull up. Here we go. Those cars are in the water up there. Storage buildings? Oh, mercy. They're not going to be able to get across this thing much longer. No, they're not. All right, we made it. Here's some more video of the river that's usually about maybe a third as wide as it's showing right now. Um, this is usually grass. I mean, we're just barely off of the road right here. And you usually have grass all the way down to that, where you see those trees right in, you know, those that back line of trees. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like a three, four, maybe bank that goes down into the river. Um, so there's definitely a lot of water. And over on the other side, um, you usually have a higher bank on the other side of the, the river over there. So um, down through here, you can see the power poles are all standing in water. Um, I'll try to zoom in just a little bit. Um, there you can see the power poles in the water. I should turn you all this way. Um, but there, see all the power poles and, and the I am assuming those are sewer caps down through there. I don't know for sure um, what that is, but here's here's more of that, and all this will eventually come down. It's the same river that's about maybe a quarter of a mile as the crow flies, give or take, maybe not even that far from us. We're way up on top of the hill, so we're pretty good. Like I said earlier, the power's out, but we've had lots of high winds and so forth. But we're safe, we're good. Kind of charging the phone, there goes a log or something. Can, we've seen a, what looked like an outbuilding go down through here. We've seen trash cans, numerous tires, um, just all, all kinds of trash, just, tons of trash um, 
that are floating out there either. I can just imagine the debris that's going to be left in this in this park and around after this water subsides and it has not crested yet so it will get even higher before it goes back down so numerous houses up there this is the Watauga River the Doe River <coughs> is the one that's really major flooding across the four lane up there and there are numerous houses up there that are flooded out on both sides of that river. This one is controlled by a TVA dam, but they have released it because if they don't, there will be even more flooding. So um, normally our rivers do not get like this. This is the river that we go tubing down in the summer. And usually the water is maybe knee deep in places. Um, it's never really deep, but I can just imagine this, this water out in the middle of that river is probably at least i'm going to guess 10 or 12 foot deep at this point there goes something down through there i don't know what it is but it's definitely not a day to be on the river um for sure and and the water is still rising you all so um just thought y'all might be interested in seeing kind of what we're dealing with here in northeast tennessee okay here we are you can kind of see a little closer here the river there's a park here and over here is the baseball field um but see that little building right here with that sun on it right smack in the center the river is usually i don't know several feet behind that just a couple feet behind maybe it's way up two or three, is up yeah but look how far up it is on that particular sun there um and how wide this river has gotten um and like I said, going down through there, all the power poles and everything are in water. So um, I just hope nobody, everybody's got sense enough not to try to get in that water. Um, but you never know, some people liable to. Um, but there again, you can see that main tree line through there. And like I said, there's usually, there's a drop there of usually anywhere from three to four feet maybe a little more down to the river itself from the river bank um, along there and you can see how high that is and how fast that water's running okay this is just right down below my house this river is never up this close to the road and it's almost in the road right back there where we were but i don't know if y'all can see or not but there's waves in it look at those waves it look like ocean waves almost there's so much water coming down through there it's just amazing you all what water can do look down through there look at that look at that wave I and mean, they look like ocean waves And there are campers that sit along this riverbank up here that are, I know are flooded out. Um, we'll drive on up through here a little ways and see what all we see here. I'm hoping we can get back across this river. Got my fingers crossed because we got to get across it to get home, you all. That is just completely flooded out there Coco's on my lap here look at this down in there it's just look at this camper there's I mean it's um it's completely submerged look at that and there are people that live in that year round you all I mean it's just it's devastating. I mean, and the water is up here to the road. And it is completely covering the island. The water is to the road here. And there's an island in the center out there that is completely underwater. Absolutely, completely underwater. I've never seen that.
Yeah, we are. Right there's the fence on the island. The island is completely submerged. There's a little bit of it that's not. There's the barn. That's the high point. Um, I'll try to take video of this again for you all so you'll have something to compare it to. Um, unbelievable. going up higher here instead of trying to get across maybe we can see down to see if we can get across our bridge um, I'm thinking we might still be able to get across our bridge yes we can still get across our bridge but there's little bridges that are out where they can't get across trees down power lines down internet lines down um, see right there's lines just right outside my window that looks I don't know if that's a power line or a cable line but they're all down trees are down we're gonna go up here and go to the left underneath this Here's more high water. This is usually just a little bit of creek going right on through here. Um, their bridge going over to the island has been washed out um, totally and completely. Water is never up in this area at all. Um, you can look back that way and see where there's the island is, is completely covered. Look at all the debris that's catching right along through here. It's just unbelievable. TP has washed away. There used to be a TP sitting right over there. It's totally gone. Uh, um, uh, here's where you get a really good view of just how high up the water is. Um, because right behind that stand of trees you're seeing right there is usually uh, island. There's never water right there. And these two come uh, merged together. And right through here the water is maybe, you know, just a few feet deep. It's almost covered that piece of concrete. Uh, and here it is going looking off the other direction. Um, uh, and like I said, this is not as high as it's going to get. They say it can get higher. I think somebody did get the canoes in down there, looks like. Maybe they did go down and get some chairs and pull them up. Um, but we made it back across the river. Oh, what's this doing on my Uh-oh, he's backing up. We must not be able to get through. Is he just gonna run into well, us? He, he, he's hell, he, he, he's hell being at him. water there oh look here oh yeah it is up in the road you cannot get out right here we go this is what i was afraid of uh, y'all i have to tell you i've had nightmares of this this exact thing happening to me i have had nightmares of, of this right here look at that this water is up and across the road. There's no way you can get across that. Um, just no way. So we're gonna try to back up here and... And, and look at that, it's just raging. 